Assalamu alaikum children. Welcome to the science class for the grade 3. This is lesson number 6, our body. And this video is part 3 of this lesson. Okay. So in the previous videos, we have studied about cells, tissues, organs and organ system. In organ systems, we have seen skeletal system and muscular system. In today's video, we will discuss uh, in detail about digestive system. Okay. So, in the digestive system, we have seen the um, parts and organs which are involved in that as uh, mouth, food pipe, stomach, liver, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Let us see the dig digestion process now. See children, just as a car needs fuel to run, our body needs food to do different types of work. So, for running every machine, it needs some fuel. Okay, in the same way, uh, our body needs food to do different types of work for different for performing different functions. Our body need food. Okay, the food we eat cannot be used directly by our body. Whatever food we eat, it will not uh, 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 go to our uh, veins directly, but it needs to break down. It needs to digest. It needs to absorb. Then the nutrients are. Uh, used up by the organs okay the food needs to be broken into simple substances our body breaks down the food we eat in simple substances by a process called digestion so whatever food we eat our body organ system it breaks down this food into simple substances so this process is called digestion so what are the parts involved in the digestive system mouth food pipe See, when we take food through the mouth, we chew it. So, that the chewing takes place in the mouth. Then it goes to the food pipe. By passing from the food pipe, it goes to stomach. See, here we can see. From here, we take the food from the mouth. Then here we chew it. Okay. Here it uh, becomes soft and it mixes with saliva and it passes from the food pipe to the stomach. Then from stomach it goes to small intestine. Then it uh, here absorption of food takes place in the small intestine. Actually, the complete digestion takes place. Hmm? Here, when we uh, chew the food and we swallow, it passes from the food pipe. Okay. Then it goes to the stomach. In the stomach again, uh, the breakdown of food takes place. Means here, like uh, the grinding process. Here, the food becomes more soft and it broken down into very small pieces in the stomach then this uh, broken down substances it goes to small intestine so in small intestine uh, the nutrients are absorbed by this intestine and the waste food which is uh, left out in this intestine it goes to the large intestine in the large intestine again the water and excess uh, salts which are present in the undigested food it will be absorbed by the large intestine and the waste material it will expel out from the anus okay so uh, in the textbook we will see now in the mouth the teeth chew and grind the food into smaller pieces the saliva mixes with the food to form small soft balls the food is swallowed and passed down through food pipe. Okay. It goes to the stomach. Inside the stomach, the food is crushed further and mixed with digestive juices thoroughly. After 2 to 4 hours, it looks like a, a thick soap. Soup. Okay. Uh, like juicy substance. This thick soup goes into the small intestine more digestive juices are added to the food and digestion is completed so here in the small intestine the process of digestion completes the digested food is absorbed by the blood so from the small intestine the digestive food its nutrients they are absorbed by the blood so blood carries the digested food to different parts of our body so this is how our body parts get energy from the food we won't get energy directly from the food which we eat. This process is required for breaking down the food and dig grinding again, then digestion and absorption by the small intestine. Then it mixes with the blood. 
the unwanted bits of food move to the large intestine from here it is passed out of the body through anus okay so this is our digestive system uh, through the through these processes our food gets digested next is respiratory system here in the respiratory system the parts which are involved uh, the organs which are involved our first one is nose okay then from the nose it the air passes when we intake oxygen gas when we take breathe in air it passes through the windpipe then it goes to the lungs okay so from the lungs the uh, oxygen is absorbed from the lungs to the blood and blood carries oxygen to all parts of our body okay so let's see the nose windpipe and lungs make up our respiratory system the air enters our body through the nose it reaches the lungs through the windpipe the lungs take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide so we breathe out carbon dioxide when we inhale air into the nose so oxygen gas will be absorbed as you know that air is the mixture of many gases so oxygen gas will be absorbed it will be taken up by the lungs so it uh, goes to the it mixes with the blood and goes to all parts of the body and carbon dioxide will be breathed out okay next we will see circulatory system so in the circulatory system this system carries blood to different parts of the body the three main parts of the circulatory system are heart blood and blood vessels here you can see the circulatory system see till now we were talking about uh, digestive system what the food which we eat how it absorbed by the body that we have seen and the oxygen gas uh, how we uh, intake through the nose then it mixes with the blood and uh, goes to all parts of the body so this uh, transport of nutrients and transport of uh, oxygen gas it is taking place by the circulation of blood so here which parts are involved heart blood and blood vessels so through the blood vessels blood goes to all parts of the body okay first we will see ha about heart okay here you can see this orange color part the heart is an organ in our chest it pumps blood to all parts of our body when the heart pumps bl blood it makes a sound called heartbeat uh, you might have heard or observed the sound of heartbeat when we are sitting silently we can feel and we can hear or when we keep our hand on the chest then also we can feel the heartbeat and when we work faster or when we work hard or walk uh, with the full of speed or run so what will happen our heartbeat will increase okay because if our heart needs to pump more blood and more oxygen it needs that's why its uh, beating will be increase okay when the heart pumps blood it makes a sound it, that sound is called heartbeat so keep your hand on the left side of your chest over your heart then you will feel the heartbeat next we will talk about blood the blood carries oxygen and nutrients from digested food to all parts of our body it takes away waste from there and then returns to the heart by the time the blood returns to the heart all the oxygen uh, in it is used up the heart sends the blood to the lungs where it collects more oxygen then this blood comes back to the heart to be pumped to all parts of the body again so this is the heart the main organ which is controlling the circulatory system through the blood vessels okay so what are blood vessels the blood vessels are thin pipe like tubes which carry blood to all parts of our body and back to the heart these blood vessels carry blood uh, which is full of oxygen from the heart to the body parts blood vessels also carry blood without oxygen from the various parts of the body to back to the heart okay so this is the incoming and outgoing of the uh, blood uh, to the heart where it is pumping okay here uh, purified blood it is uh, sending to all parts of the body and the blood which is not carrying oxygen it will come back to the heart again so this is our circulatory system now we will see our sense organs different parts of our body help us to know the beautiful world around us by seeing touching smelling hearing and tasting different things see children whatever the things are there around us natural or man made all the beautiful world we can 
see, we can touch, we can feel, we can taste and we can hear through our sense organs. So what are our sense organs? Eyes, nose, ears, skin and tongue. Okay. These parts are called sense organs. There are five sense organs. Eyes, nose, ears, skin and tongue. Next is nervous system. It is the main part of nervous system is our brain. The brain, the spinal cord and the nerves make up the nervous system. The nerves in our body carry messages from our sense organs to our brain, which tells us what is happening around us. See, so we were talking about sense organs. So whatever we touch, we feel, we taste, we hear or see, these messages goes to the brain through the, through the nerves. Okay, so nerves play an important role to send the messages to the brain. Then the response which uh, the brain feels, it sends back to the, the particular sense organs so that we can feel, touch, taste, hear and smell. Okay, so which uh, tells what is happening around us. They are like electrical wires connecting the whole body to the brain. Our brain is like a supercomputer. It controls all the body systems and their functioning. Next is excretory system. The excretory system helps to get rid of the waste material such as sweat and urine from our body. This is done with the help of our kidneys. So what is excretory system? The, when the waste material uh, through this excretory system, waste material of our body, it uh, uh, expel out from our body through the sweat and through the urine. So there is a system of filtration of blood and excretion it occurs so because of the kidneys so kidneys perform this function excretory system is performed by kidneys okay when we talk about sweat so this process it uh, it is done by our skin and sweat glands the last organ system uh, here is reproductive system what is the meaning of reproduction Reproduction means producing the young one of their own kind. So the reproductive system helps to reproduce young ones to continue life. Reproduction means producing the young ones of their own kind. So because of this reproductive system only, uh, the life can be continued. Okay, because of reproductive system only, life can be continued. They can produce their young ones of their own kind. So children, that's it for today's video. Our lesson is, uh, has completed here. Uh, so you go through the videos and uh, try, to, uh, try to get the concept correctly, thoroughly. Okay. Inshallah, next week we will start uh, our new lesson. Go through the textbook exercises and complete your notes which I am forwarding. Okay. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.